A lot of people, including myself, thought they were on the safe side when storing all the lithium polymer batteries in these kind of bags. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Welcome to this first episode of our three-part mini-series on lithium battery safety. Today, we put these soft bags to the test. Next time, we look at safer alternatives. And finally, in part three, we look at professional solutions. There are a number of vendors selling these bags, but essentially, no matter what's printed onto the outside, it's more or less always the same bag. As you can see, even when correctly closed, the battery is not really sealed off from its environment. And there's a number of videos on the net where you can see quite devastating results when a battery inside catches fire. Now, some may say that there have been instances where such a bag did contain the fire. But very honestly, what does it help us when in most cases, or most specifically in that very single case concerning you, the result is a firestorm? In our test, we're by the way using a fully charged 6S lithium ion battery with 115 watt hours of energy. So that's not even a real big battery. The difference between lithium ion and lithium ion polymer batteries, in case you've been wondering, is not a big one. Mainly the individual cells of the ion battery type will go off one after the other, with fire coming out rather directionally, while polymers tend to go off more at once and in all directions. Anyways, the fact we use the nade to start the thermal runaway has no significant influence on the outcome of this experiment, by the way. Okay, so realizing that this very obviously is not the way to store your lithium batteries, then the question arises, what is? Well, we'll have a look at that next time. For now, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up for all the work. Also, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, looking forward to seeing you next time.